Welcome back, guys. So today I got an Evercade video for you. It's been a little while. You know, when it first came out, we did some videos, reviewed it, played some games, kind of shared it with you guys. I really enjoy this device, and I understand it's not for everyone. This is more geared towards people who like physical media, collecting, and whatnot. And currently, they have 10 cartridges out for this with a whole host of games. And I just had a blast with this thing. I really like it. But at the same time, I can admit it's not a perfect device. And, you know, I've kind of talked about some of my concerns in the past. But these guys, they're listening. And, you know, since release, they have done some firmware updating to the device to fix some issues. And I actually have a beta firmware that they're prepping to release publicly on this right now. I'll kind of talk about that a little bit in a moment here. But, yeah, what this video mainly is about, okay, we'll talk about that firmware a little bit. But they do have their next set of games coming out. And I got them out of order. They got their next four cartridges, so up to 14. I know they just announced that indie cartridge. They got a lot of cool stuff coming out. But I have to say, so far, this set of four games really, like, it brings out what this thing is for. Because not all this stuff is accessible all over the place. These aren't franchises that are being released everywhere. I mean, these games are fairly new right here. And it's really cool to see a cartridge released for a new video game handheld and to be able to play it. So we got Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood, two in one cart. Most of the time, their games, you know, they'll have a bunch of games on it. This one's just the two. Uh, and they're really awesome games. It's probably my favorite cartridge out of all of these. And I didn't think it was going to be. I already own Tanglewood. Um, I bought a copy of that on PC a long while ago, but I've never played a Xeno Crisis. Is Xeno Crisis Xeno Crisis? That's cartridge number 11. There you go. Let's just open it up. We're going to play a little bit of this stuff in a moment, kind of show you guys what's going on. But here's the cartridge. Boom. Nice little artwork there. Here's the other side. Boom. Looking good. Uh, I think this was the only one I saw that came with this. Don't miss out. Join their... Uh, you know, their, their email list, so you can get spammed about all the newest releases. Now, I don't think they actually spam you, but a uh, little bit of information there. Cool. And then the manual. This is one of the things. These guys are doing this because, like I said, it's geared towards collectors, people who like physical media. And freaking manuals don't exist anymore. It's freaking nuts for the most part. You might get, like, an insert that's like this. That says, oh, you press the A button type of thing. But Evercade, they're releasing... Full color manuals with all their games. So I thought that that's a definite nice touch. Oh, I didn't notice that. Tanglewood, and then you bloop, flip that bish over, and you got Xeno Crisis. Okay. I didn't realize. That's the first time I'm looking at this manual here. I have played the cartridge, though. All the manuals, they tell you the controls and whatnot. This is freaking nice. This is like going back to, like, Sega Genesis Super Nintendo manuals right here that's that's cool stuff right there so there's that cartridge we're going to test that one out in a second number 12 the oliver twins i know some of you guys out there who watch my channel probably have a lot of experience with the oliver twins games and i just have to admit it i've never played a single one of these before so that's why i was kind of excited for this one because i've never played these these are some old school games that i just don't have a lot of experience with there's 11 games on this one all Oliver Twin games, so you got a bunch of uh, Dizzy games and a few other little selections there. Pretty cool. There's the cartridge. Look at that. Look at that. They kind of they they keep it all you know uniform, but they got their own style for each one. Look at that little logos in the back. Then here's the Dizzy or Oliver Twins collection. I was gonna say the Dizzy collection. Guess you could call it Dizzy Collection. It's got mostly Dizzy games on it, right? I mean, some companies call things the Pac-Man Collection. There's 10 games on there, and there's only two Pac-Man games. So I guess they, they could have went with the Dizzy Collection. But there you go. Controls, everything good to go. There's that. So that was cartridge number 12. And then the ones I was really excited. I was excited for that one, too. But Atari Lynx. Where do we ever see Atari Lynx games being re-released? Nowhere. This one has 17 games. When I see that many games, I know I'm not going to like them all. I mean, I'm not going to like every game other than this one. I, I like both games that are on this. Like, I'm not denying that. But there's the, the Lynx Collection 1. Boom, there's the back of the box with all the games on it. Here's the full-color manual. You got, like, Basket Brawl. 
few other things. Some songbird stuff going on there. Scrapyard Dog. Dracula. This one I actually found a few that I really liked. But yeah, this this collection, it, it brings me back to, you know, playing the Atari Lynx way back when it came out. Because nobody had them. Like, I didn't have any friends who had an Atari Lynx. I did. And I had a blast playing it. A lot of cool games. The Atari Lynx Collection 2, this one has eight games on it. And I like this one better than that one even though it has less games, because I, I have more nostalgia for these ones. These ones, I don't even remember owning maybe a couple of them. I don't know. But there's the Lynx Collection 2, all 16-bit games, eight games included. You got California Games, Chips Challenge, one of my all-time favorites, Blue Lightning, Todd's Adventure in Slime World. The list goes on and on. Let's take a look. There's the uh, Collection 2 next to Collection 1. Did they change the color on it? Oh, yeah, they did. Didn't notice that. So this collection, uh, this is number 14, cartridge 14. Here's the, the manual. I know the manuals, I mean, I get excited about this stuff. I buy Retro Gamer Magazine. I love looking at stuff, you know. And that's what these manuals kind of remind me of with the big, you know, images in there. How Retro Gamer Magazine kind of formats their, their magazine. I don't know. Does some of the people who work for these guys work for them? I don't know. But there's that. So we got we got everything... Yeah, we got everything out. Let's just, let's let's start checking out a few games here. I want to show, you know what? I, I just love this Zeno Crisis game so damn much. Let's go ahead and, and check this one out. Let it boot up. So there you go. Just the two games there. Can't, can't really complain. We know what to expect. Two games, but they're dope games, especially that one. But one of the things with the, uh, the firmware that I was told about, and I, I went and checked out, was the screen brightness. We now have, uh, when this beta, this is in beta, keep in mind, so some things could change, but in the beta, they do have, you know, the screen brightness going up to maximum. So you could you can max that out for those who, who need it, I, I guess, right? But there's that. Let's go ahead and jump into that game. 2019 release. Bitmap Bureau, these guys are freaking amazing, man. All right, let's skip all that. We don't want this video going on for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, hour, two hours. I mean, we, we don't want to do that. We could do that, but no. Let's look at that. Oh, if we hit we hit menu, you can go to settings. If you wanna if you wanna full screen that bitch, there there you go. I, I, I mean, I don't like it like that, so I'm not leaving it like that. Let's go original size. There we go, the way it's meant to be seen. Like, this game's like Smash TV. But, like, better? I don't know if you could say better, but I think it's awesome. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You have, like, you run out of ammo, so you got to keep grabbing crates as well. So there's, like, a lot going on here. Yeah. Oh, I got killed. When you see the bosses in this game, I'm going to leave this to, to your uh, playing to, to check it out, but... This game is dope. The bosses are epic. The game's a little tough. Yes. Dope cartridge. One of my favorites so far. These collection of cartridges here really just... It's its what the Evercade should be doing, in my opinion. The first set of cartridges, they had a lot of stuff that's been you know licensed out all over the place. And it's still cool to have access to that. You don't have to buy everything. But this is the stuff I like seeing. Stuff that's not everywhere. So what do we just put in? Link's Collection 1. And with the uh, the firmware, there's there's other things going on here. Fixes for some previous games. Uh, I think in the Pico Collection, there were some specific bugs that had that have been addressed in this beta firmware. Um, and then HDMI compatibility, some issues with HDMI have been fixed with this. So we're just waiting for a full-on release. But here's, here's the collection of games. I was playing this. I'm going to show you guys this game in a second. This game is freaking weird. Cyber Virus. Dracula the Undead. Gordo 106. Okay. 
Ishido, The Way of the Stone. Is that Mahjong? Jimmy Connors Tennis, Loops, Malibu Bikini Volleyball. Is that teen rated? What's going on here? Mega Packs. This like, I don't know, that's crazy. Power Factor. Remnant. I was playing this one too. That one's kind of wonky. You got Super Asteroids and Super Missile Command. Scrapyard Daug. Super Squeak. It sounds like something I shouldn't be saying. Zump, the final run. Awesome Goff. Let's check this one out. Like I said, World in Chaos. One Lone Hero. I think this is like a a training. You got like kind of like tank controls, but it doesn't feel too bad. I've never played this game before. I mean, I played it a little while ago before I started this video. Where is he? My oh, we have our radar up there. I think if we hit start, we got like bombs and stuff too. You get the point. It's a pretty interesting game. Let's move on. Can't show every game today. It'll be just too long of a video. So here we go. Collection 2, Blue Lightning, California Games, Checkered Flag, Chips Challenge, Electro Cop, Gates of Zendokan. That's another one I had. Todd's Adventure in Slime World have had that. I don't have it anymore. Zarlord Mercenary, Blue Lightning. So just a handful of games, but these ones are pretty solid, in my opinion. I really like Chips Challenge. Can you get that? Let's get that audio. The Lynx had such amazing audio. You got to go around, get all the keys. Or not, you have to get all the chips, but you got to get the keys to, you know, go through the doors, the colored doors. It, it's pretty easy in the beginning, but you start getting a lot of other crazy things going on. No more chips left, and we can go to the next next stage. So, like here, you got to push the blocks to cover the water to walk across. Oh, I forgot! You're supposed to walk on it to solidify it. I forgot. So you gotta you gotta push it in, step on it. There we go. Avoid the bugs. Two left. Oh, they were right in the beginning. Why didn't I pay attention to that? Ah, oh, crap. Dead. Moving on. So here we go. The Oliver Twins collection. Treasure Island Dizzy. Wonderland Dizzy. BMX Simulator. Dizzy the Adventurer. Dreamworld Pogey. Fantastic Adventures Dizzy, Firehawk, Go Dizzy Go, Puzzler. It tells you what, what kind of game they are up there. Adventure Game, Mystery World Dizzy, Panic Dizzy, another Puzzler, Super Robin Hood, up in the hood. There we go. Let's, uh, oh, this is a newer game. Wonderland Dizzy 2015. Oh, shit. I'm an egg, right? I, I like, died because I cracked my ass. I told you guys, I've never played any of these Dizzy games before. So what is this? What is her name? Lizzie? This is a female Dizzy. Watch somebody will be like, his name's not even Dizzy, dude. What are you talking about? How the hell am I supposed to know? What did I do? Oh, crack died down there, too. Let's go back to the menu. 
check out that BMX simulator. Codemaster's absolutely brilliant. Oh, this is a, uh, this is an NES, uh, controller. This is an NES game. I've never, never played this. Oh, shit. I just jumped over that wall. Oh, my God. No. Oh. All right, I'd have to get used to this one. But there you go. I just wanted to highlight a few of these games. Um, so far, really, my favorite is the Xenocrisis Tanglewood Collection and the Tari Collection 2. Those are my favorites. I'm going to put more time into playing the Dizzy, the Oliver Twins Collection. Seems like there's a lot of cool stuff there. But these are my favorites so far. Definitely really cool cartridges for the price. Really appreciate you guys watching. Links in the description if you want to grab these carts. They come out soon. Uh, Evercade did provide them to me for purpose of review. They also provided another Evercade bundle to give away. So I'll be doing that in a live stream coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. So really do appreciate you guys. And with that said, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Big ass thumb butt. And boom. Bye.